the highly anticipated battle of the 61s finally happened today. We got to see if the decision by Team China to send Li Fa Bin rather than Tian Tao was going to pay off because Li Fa Bin was going to be going up against the three time Olympic medalist world record holder in the clean and jerk, Echo Yuli Irwan. So, really, there were two key players in this competition Li Fa Bin and Echo. Li Fa Bin had put in an entry total of 310, Echo at 315. There are a few other high entry totals, for example, Shota Mish Felidze at 305. But really, there were two separate battles in this competition. So Echo, the 2008, 12 and 16 Olympic bronze, bronze and silver medalist, ready to, to win basically his fourth Olympic medal or, or potentially even his first ever Olympic gold medal. He's also the 2018 world champion and the current clean and jerk world record holder. Lee Far Bin, probably the favorite to win, but perhaps only just he's a snatch and total world record holder. At 145 and 318. He's also a three time Asian champion and the 2019 world champion. Now, just as an interesting bit of news, back in 2011, when Lee Far Bin was winning the junior world championships, Echo Yuli Irwan took the bronze at the senior world level. Now, don't forget, today's episode is brought to you by the Weightlifting House Store. So, along with 10% off on the whole site throughout the whole games period, today's sale of the day is the Elite Barbell. look funnier in the video so this is a unreal deal 20 percent off our new stunning elite barbell all the specifications of an iwf elite level training bar manufactured to perfection and basically ready to endure all the training that uh, your career can can throw at it so go grab an elite barbell at 20 percent off we also have free shipping in the uk and the usa so this is probably the deal of a lifetime on these there's a link down below. Opening up the A session today was Italy's Davide Rui with a comfy 123 kilo opener. Then the classic long high pull and wobbly catch of Siraj Al Salim from Saudi Arabia gave him a 124 opener and it became a bit of a one kilo opening game. Chan Hung Kao hit 125 and Igor Sun of Kazakhstan hit 126. But the first real miss of the competition came from Kim Tuan Thach from Vietnam, again at 126. And this is almost unsurprising. His recent, well, I mean, he's had a very long career, but his recent career has been absolutely peppered with misses, particularly in the snatch. He did actually win the World Championships as a 56 kilo lifter, however, back in 2017. So he's absolutely no stranger to the big platform. Kim Tuan Thach did then come back out and make that lift with his patented arms in front of the body save that he does where he leans back, head behind the bar. A really crazy save, but he would miss his third attempt at 130 kilos. Davide Rui then hit 127 and Siraj matched it. The first real piece of controversy came when the referees red lighted Chan Hung Kao's second attempt at 128 kilos with what was the most subtle, the, the slightest of elbow wobbles. So it was an extremely tough call. They threw in a challenge card to the jury, but to no avail. He then took the risk of going all the way up to 130 kilos on his third attempt, but again, it was called for three red lights. This time because his mobility game was just on point and his glutes slapped the floor, so that's a no lift in weightlifting. Siraj from Saudi Arabia ended up going three for three with a beautiful 129 kilo third attempt. Perfect attempt selection, a four kilo competition PR for him. Squat jerker and bronze medal Hoper Shota Meshvalidze made an effortless opener at 130 kilos, the 2017 bronze medalist, the 2018 European champion. And then the home nation favorite Yoichi Itakazu, despite what looked like a perfect pull at his 130 kilo opener, started losing the bar behind. So he duck walked, he took a step backwards to try and save it, but lost it. Despite then being minuted by his competition, he came back with limited rest and made that 130 on his second attempt. Igor Sun from Kazakhstan, despite making a large five kilo jump from his opener, then came and hit 131 kilos to take the lead on his second. Davida also came out for a personal record at 131, but missed it behind. There was then a two kilo jump up to 133 kilos and Japan's Itakazu made his third and final attempt at 133. Shota Mish from Georgia then came out for his second attempt at 134 kilos, looking to distance himself from the pack before Echo Yuli Irwan and Li Fa Bin would turn up and really set the big lifts. 
at just one kilo under his kind of major competition PR as a 61 kilo lifter, he ended up missing behind. And that then left the door open for the Kazakh Igor Sun, who made 134 kilos. But again, it was brutally called out for three red lights, supposedly elbows. But that really was the harshest call you're probably ever going to see in a competition. So Shoda had one attempt remaining to take the lead before the real duel took place. 135, again, he missed it behind. And so, as expected, with two remaining, it was Echo Yuli Irwan first out, the clean and jerk world record holder. And he came out at 137 kilos, looking for his fourth Olympic medal. And it was a comfortable lift. Li Farbin, the snatch world record holder from China, the man who was selected over Tian Tao, then came out also at 137 kilos. And he missed that in front. And so, with two minutes on the clock, he came out actually just after one minute to re attempt that 137 kilos. It was wobbly, he did have to fight, but eventually he got up with it. Two whites, one red, which is an unusual unusual thing to see with a Chinese lifter. It's either all makes or it's a miss. Then interestingly, despite such a comfortable looking opener from Echo, he went up to 141, a four kilo jump, and missed. Li Farbin then for his third attempt also came out to match that lift of 141, well, really to take a four kilo lead. Now, if you think that Tian Tao is a factory of heart attacks, you really haven't spent enough time watching Li Farbin, who is just terrifying. He catches things so vertically, he can't really push his head through and find tension behind, and he misses so frequently in the snatch. But after several corrections in that bottom position, he finally got up with 141 for the lead. And so with one attempt remaining, Echo Yuli Irwan came out again with 141 kilos, but again, he missed. So going into the clean and jerks, this meant that the world record holder, Echo, would need to outlift Li Farbin by five kilos, being four kilos down after the snatch. The clean and jerk opened with two reds against Chang Hung Kao. Again, judged so harshly, it just seems to be ruining the sport at this point. That should have been a good lift, in my opinion. The Taipei team challenged the call and it was denied, which seemed utterly ridiculous. Having been somewhat tormented by the jury at this point, he came out again and he ended up clarking. So that's pulling on the bar, but not going under. He then ended up withdrawing from the competition. Up next was Kim Tran Thatch with a 150 kilo opener. And just as happens with so many of his snatches, he catches the weight too far on his back, but he can't pull that same level of saving as he can in the snatch. And he ended up dumping the bar. He sharpened the pull up on his second attempt and made an easy clean missing the jerk, so he had just one attempt remaining. Davide Rui from Italy then showed them how it was done with a very competent opener at 153 kilos, a very fast and sharp lifter. Kim Tran Thatch from Vietnam then took his final attempt at 153. He bumped up a few kilos, but he was called for a very obvious press out. So he was the first lifter of the session to bomb out. So far, just an utter bloodbath of a clean and jerk session. And it was really at this point that the competition turned into a two battle story. It was Li Fao Bin and Echo Yuli Irawan for gold and silver, and then the trailing pack for bronze. And this made things incredibly exciting for the remainder of the session. Shotter, the squat jocker, made his opening clean and jerk at 155 kilos, bringing the yellows finally out into play. And the battle for bronze was on. We had Siraj who snatched 129, Shotta with 130, Eagle 131, and Itakaze with 133. After Shotta's 155, Eagle made 156. Despite more of an elbow wobble than other lifters, but he got away with that one. Itakazu then came out for the lead with 158, but missed his opener behind. And it was then Siraj who, despite sitting at the back of the pack after the snatch with 127, opened last in the clean jerk with 159, which he made despite catching the jerk way out in front, something that he does a lot of. It looked like Davide was then out of the running, having missed his second attempt at 159 kilos due to the, the heavy weight on the stand, but he did manage to come back and make it on his final attempt. Huge lifting for the young 20-year-old. Itakazu, who led the trailing pack after the snatch, came out and finally landed the clean and jerk at 159 kilos on his second attempt for the lead of that trailing pack. Igor Sun then came out to 162 to try and reclaim that lead over Itakazu. He had gotten away with the press on his opener, but not on this lift, it was a no lift. So Itakazu, still in the lead at 292 kilos, came out to extend it to 295 with a 162, but he missed. So, Shota Mishvalidze had two attempts left. Igor Sun had one, 
and Siraj had two. Shot a bit first with 163 for the one kilo lead in the total. Tough, clean, and wasn't able to get up with the squat jerk. Igor Sun then came out next with his final attempt at 163 kilos for the lead, having pressed out his last lift. An incredible clean and a wonderful jerk. That's 294 kilos for the lead, which means that Schotter would need 165 kilos to take it back. And then suddenly, as if out of nowhere, this intense battle for bronze was suddenly interrupted by Echo Yuli Irwan, who then came out for his 165 kilo opener, locking up that silver medal instantly if he made it. Having set the world record at 174 kilos back in 2018, this 165 looked easy. He smiled, he walked off, becoming one of just a small handful of lifters to medal at four Olympics at that point. Schotter, the squat jocker, was next to move into the medal slot with 165 kilos. A tough clean, but he missed the jerk, which meant that he lost that medal slot. So, Siraj still not out for his second or third attempts, with Igor Sun now in that bronze medal position. But once again, the battle for bronze was interrupted by the battle for gold, this time by Li Fa Bin, who had a four kilo lead over Echo after the snatch. His 166 opener was incredible to watch as he pulled his patented single leg balance on the jerk that he does, which still to this day uh, really blows my mind. And then finally out came Siraj for his second attempt at 166 kilos. Also, this to medal and bump Igor Sun out of the way. It was a beautiful clean, just so aggressive and fast and a more incredible jerk and he held it and he held it, and he held it, and then he lost it forward, Ala Rastami, 2015. Absolutely gutted for him. His feet were never properly in line whilst he was motionless, and so he never ended up getting the down signal. It was a no lift, and he lost that bronze medal position. But he did have one attempt remaining, and with just two minutes on the clock, he came out for the bronze medal again. He was fast under the bar, tougher to stand up. He got under the jerk, locked out, lost it in front and Siraj collapsed onto the ground in desperation. You really can't get any closer than that to a medal at the Olympic Games. Bronze therefore to Kazakhstan's Igor Sun. And so the battle was on for gold between Lee Fabin and Echo Yuli Irwan. Lee Fabin came out then with 172. If he made that it would force Echo to hit a world record of 177. It was a tough clean at a new Olympic record but he made it, and then, with absolutely no doubt, the most solid, defiant, sharp-looking jerk. Surely the gold medal for Lee Farbin. 177 was loaded, as expected, three kilos up on his own world record for Echo. He pulled it slowly. He got under it just about, but he couldn't get up with it. He did, however, have one attempt remaining. The Chinese team then moved Fabian's attempt from 177 up to 178 in an attempt to minute echo. So that's cutting his rest from two minutes down to one minute. But they made that change too early, which gave Echo the full two minutes to recover. But it didn't matter. Exhausted from his last attempt, Echo couldn't make the clean. So it was gold to Li Fabian, silver to Echo Yuli Irwan, and bronze to Igor Sun. But Li Fabian technically did have one attempt remaining and he chose to take it. 178 kilos for a new 4 kilo world record attempt. And as with almost every post win attempt, he missed. But he was the Olympic champion. Team China's selection over Tian Tao paid off. Let's very quickly take a look at some of the stats. 9 lifters, 54 attempts, 25 makes, 29 misses. It was a bloodbath. 12 out of 18 first attempts made. 8 out of 18 second attempts made, 5 out of 18 third attempts made, 15 out of 27 snatches made, 10 out of 27 clean and jerks made. A truly exciting competition. Don't forget to head over to weightlifterhouse.com where you can get today's deal only 20% off the Elite Barbell. Free shipping in the USA and UK, 10% off everything else store-wide for the entirety of the game.